Well, first of all, we're so happy for Travis Kelsey uh, and Taylor and their relationship. Do you know uh, her? Uh, I've, I've had a chance to meet her yeah. uh, at one of the many games uh, that she's attended this year, and she's just as sweet as she can be. I also got to see her play here twice this past summer, and what an incredible performer. I mean, just one of the most amazing artists uh, of our time. Uh, but it's, it's been a very interesting, very fun year uh, having the two of them dating, the attention that's been focused on, on the Chiefs. Uh, our female audience has grown le leaps and bounds. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, Think it really about is. it. It's, a, it's an unplanned phenomenon. You had nothing to do with it. It was just, it, 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 it just happened. No, that's right. It was purely organic. You know, when they were just starting off dating, there were a lot of people saying, oh, it's a marketing stunt. But no, it, it's very real. And as I said, the most important thing is, is we're, we're happy for the two of them. This is the United Uprising channel. Welcome to today's show. This is an important video that you can share with people so they start understanding what's going on in the world. That clip you just heard was about social engineering, hearing about how Taylor Swift has influenced the Kansas City Chiefs, their revenue, the amount of women that watch, and that's the whole point. Everything that's going on right now is going on because of social engineering. Social engineering is at the forefront of this mass mental confusion, this mass uproar in this country, this mass civil unrest. It all goes back to social engineering. And there's a reason that they're talking about social engineering now because they're, people are starting to wake up to it because of people like us. When I say us, I'm talking about me and this channel and you, the people who listen to this channel. They're waking up because a lot of people have started to realize that a lot of these relationships aren't real. A lot of these couples are put together. A lot of the stuff that you hear the celebrities endorse, why they all endorse the same things and nobody has a different opinion and they're all of the hive mind, it's because they're all government operatives. They're government agents. And it's all trails and traces back to the Tavistock Institute. So what we're hearing now is Fox News. And this is done by design for anybody wondering. Fox News is bringing attention finally to social engineering. Fox News is being ridiculed by design after bringing up social engineering. The same way that they bring up some of these things with truth but they do it in a way that makes it sound sensationalized. They don't explain it properly. And then, of course, by bringing attention to it, it dismisses this notion in the minds of people out there. So if they start thinking or stumbling upon my videos, they've already built a wall up in people's minds that this notion of the government being involved with celebrities and using them as agents is all just a crazy conspiracy. But it's not. So on the flip side of that, while you create a society of narcissists, right, which is what they're doing with social media, et cetera. You make people so that you can't break through to them. They think the things they're doing are all independent. They think that they're doing these things freely, but they're being formulated. They're all being manufactured, and it starts with the celebrities. Your living room is the factory. The product being manufactured is you. So I'm going to play for you this clip from Fox News. Okay, so Fox News, Jesse Waters, who plays his role, who is another government agent. You see, this gains a little bit of credibility in the eyes of people out there when they hear Fox News talk about it. But make no mistake about it. Jesse Waters and the talking heads on Fox News are all from the Tavistock Institute as well. They are all agents. They are all of them are government agents. Him bringing attention to this does not build credibility in the eyes of anyone who's awake. What it does is what I'll show you the after effects of them bringing attention to this. It makes us look like crazy conspiracy kooks, the way they talk about it, how they explain it, trying to just go out of nowhere that Taylor Swift is a government agent. Instead of talking about the Tavistock Institute, talking about what social engineering is, talking about how Larry Fink has talked about social engineering and behavioral control, because that's what all of this stuff is. This guy plays the role, Jesse Waters on TV, of being the exact stereotype of what they want people to perceive conservatives as. Spoiled brat, rich kids, obnoxious, fe you know, anti-female, sexist, et cetera, et cetera. He plays this role. Here is Jesse Waters actually bringing attention to social engineering and NATO and how they talked about social engineering involving celebrities like Taylor Swift. But again, they want you to think that this is all just a notion, but it's actually being implemented and it is in place right now. 
Well, Taylor Swift's the biggest star in the world. Sorry, Gutfeld. She's been blanketed across the sports media entertainment atmosphere. The New York Times just speculated she's a lesbian. And last year's tour broke Ticketmaster. A tour that's revenue tops the GDP of 50 countries. I mean, I like her music. She's all right. But I mean, have you ever wondered why or how she blew up like this? Well, around four years ago, the Pentagon Psychological Operations Unit floated turning Taylor Swift into an asset during a NATO meeting. What kind of asset? A PSYOP for combating online misinformation. Listen. You came in here wanting to understand how you just go out there and counter an information operation. Well, the idea is that social influence can help, uh, can help uh, encourage or uh, promote behavior change, so potentially as like a peaceful information operation. I include Taylor Swift in here because she's, um, you know, she's fairly influential. So they talk about Taylor Swift being a Pentagon asset, right? So people see this and they start laughing and they dismiss this notion. Again, this works hand in hand with how they've built a society of narcissists. So they think that this type of stuff is crazy because they're so narcissistic, they will never believe that they're under hypnosis. They'll never believe that they're under mind control. That is our job to try to break them from that. That is why I do this every day and continue to do it, is to break people from the hypnosis, break them from the witchcraft, Break them from the hive mind. So Fox News brings attention, right? And what does everybody out there do? Taylor Swift, a Pentagon psyop, a Pentagon operative, says that oh, the Department of Defense has commented and said she's not, right? But what really they could start doing is playing clips like this of Larry Fink talking about behavioral control. For those of you that don't know, I have videos on Larry Fink. You can find many out there. Larry Fink owns everything. Larry Fink owns everything. You can name something, Larry Fink owns it. And when it comes to the media, Larry Fink controls all of it, including Fox News. Here's Larry Fink talking about behavioral control. Well, behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. So when you start talking about behavioral control, then you look no deeper into Tavistock. The Tavistock Institute was created to build out all these things that we know of as celebrities. And I call them things because they're not even really human, some of them, right? We look at celebrities and we think, we don't think any further than 200 years ago, 100 years, we think of this, you know, to people a long time ago as Elvis and the Beatles, right? Well, really this whole celebrity worship started with the Beatles and with people like Elvis. They were products of the Tavistock Institute. They created them and they pushed them out into the public and they kept pushing them and kept telling you how great they are by design to watch how people responded to the influence that these things had over them. This was the beginning of social engineering on a mass scale. So they released the Beatles, right? You always see the Beatles doing all the symbolism in front of you. Nobody ever asked questions, right? The 666, the devil horns. Uh, they had the album covers that had babies on them. They had Aleister Crowley on their covers. And then they started using the Beatles to influence people's behavior, right? You see all those video clips of women fainting when the Beatles came out. Now that's just normal in our society. But at the time, it was crazy. And people were like, what's going on? They're like, well, it's Beatlemania. It's Beatle this. That was all mind control. It was all part of a psychological operation. They were the first experiment. Now every celebrity you know, uses the same protocols that were ingrained in them. It was a trial run, a test run. That's why you still hear them talk about the Beatles. Taylor Swift is just one of many now used, but maybe the biggest one at the current moment. Beyonce, we've seen all of them go out there and influence the behavior of society. So Taylor Swift is an Illuminati puppet. Everybody knows that, right? And if you look deeper, this is, when you hear Larry Fink talk about behavioral control, this is Taylor Swift, right? Taylor Swift, her audience, young teenage girls, they want to mold the behavior of these people. So the ideologies that the celebrities have, they push on you, right? So here's some articles. Taylor Swift delivers Pride Month message, right? This is a safe space for you, as if it's a danger zone out there for people who uh, have a preference in the bedroom. They can't walk down the street. So they create that illusion in their minds that the world is against them, that they're, you know, that it's dangerous for them to leave their home. But Taylor Swift, this is a safe place. They don't talk about how they've gaslit people into all of this division over sexual preference, how they told people they're born a specific way. These are all things that have been done psychologically by design by our government. Taylor Swift blasts toxic male privilege during women's speech, right? Uh, one of the articles, Taylor Swift, white supremacies, repulsive. Taylor Swift cast trans model in one of her videos. Taylor Swift 
climate change. Is the youth shaking off or embracing the carbon uh, lifestyles? Taylor Swift supports gun control. This is what they do. So they take a celebrity, they put some songs on, everybody's like, oh, Taylor Swift. They don't want to hear all this stuff from, from politicians who are screaming and yelling on TV. They like their celebrities, right? Oh, they play music. I like the music. They cast spells on them. Then they come in and they influence your behavior. All these things are subtly placed out there, right? Taylor Swift, gun control. Taylor Swift, LGB. Taylor Swift. All of them have the same things behind them. If you look up any celebrity, you'll find the same stuff. Look them up with gun control. Look them up with LGBT. From Lady Barfag to Katy Perry. All of them. Because they're all formulated. They're manufactured. They're created at Tavistock. They're created... They're institutional products. That's what they are. And their job is to herd the behavior of the masses. So when you see them talking about this stuff, this is how we get to the point that we're at. Where people look around and everybody's accepting of this, accepting of that. Everybody wants to get your gun, not even realizing, hey, wait a minute, nobody would have any guns left except uh, the government, right? It's all because of the celebrities and the influence of behavior. So when you have Jesse Waters coming on TV talking about that, right? Some people go, wow, the Taylor Swift's a CIA asset, right? He doesn't explain it thoroughly. He doesn't talk about behavior control because they never want to talk about mind control because Fox News, of course, is created by Tavistock as well. Right? If you broke away from the technology, broke away from the mass media, we would break away from the, all of this enslavement. It's enslavement of the mind. Right? So they're just as guilty. But they're taking this and they're, tr they're putting it on Fox News so that people out there dismiss it as lunatic, as fringe, as crazy. What? Mind control? He doesn't go into breaking down mind control. MK Ultra doesn't break down Tavis because they don't want you to think that mind control is real. They don't even bring attention to that. They, and when they do, they do some crazy music behind it. Everybody rolls their eyes and they're like, ah, oh, that's just crazy to think that. They don't realize that they're all under mind control, right? So by him doing that, it brings about this, which is shows like The View, bringing attention to social engineering and then saying things like, just like with the event at the pizza parlor, right? Oh yeah, Hillary Clinton's pizza underground. Da, da, da. They use trigger words to make people dismiss actual truth. So here they are dismissing the government's involvement in using all of these operatives and agents. They want you to believe, remember, they've created this in your mind from a young age, that these people have organically become famous because they're talented. And you can do it too, right? So they get everybody out there, like I always say, it's a mouse in a wheel. They want you to thrive to be, I mean, you ask 10 people, how many of the 10 people are gonna say they wanted to be a famous celeb actor or a famous musician? This is all ingrained in all of us. It's never achieving something that you want to achieve. It beats you down, it wears you down, it breaks you down. They want you to think that all these people are there because they're talented. That's not true. They're not there because they're talented. They're not there because they worked harder than you. They're there because they're operatives, okay? This whole thing is literally a simulated reality that we're living in. They're dictating your mind and telling you in your mind that this stuff is truth when it's really fictitious. So you're living in a simulated reality because of it. So Taylor Swift and all of them are only famous for that reason. But they've created in your mind that, oh, they're famous because they're talented. And listen to these crazy notions of the Pentagon just using Taylor Swift to dis, you know, to combat disinformation. And she's a government asset. And oh, oh, she's influencing people. Exactly. This is a government operation. And including The View, including Whoopi Goldberg, including Fox News, all of them are in on it. They're all keeping you in a hive mind. Listen to this propaganda from The View. You know, there are real issues impacting millions of Americans, reproductive rights, racism, health care costs, income disparity, and gun violence, just to name a few. But this is what the Fox News folks wanted viewers to be worried about during their primetime broadcast on Tuesday. Take a look. Have you ever wondered why or how she blew up like this? Well, around four years ago, the Pentagon Psychological Operations Unit floated turning Taylor Swift into an asset during a NATO meeting. What kind of asset? A PSYOP for combating online misinformation. She posted the link to the vote.org. It's like hundreds of thousands of young Taylor Swift fans all of a sudden registered to vote. I wonder who got to her from the White House or from wherever. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I, I have to say, I, I, you know, <laughs> When we talk about snowflakes, you know, they always talk about, you people worried about the weirdest stuff. <laughs> she got people to, to go out and vote, including probably <laughs> all kinds of people that you'd rather not have voting. But you know what? We're gonna continue to suggest that folks who are 
have the wherewithal to say, hey, if you want to make a change in the world, go ahead and go out and vote. That's our biggest thing. If she, if she can get people to do that, why would you <laughs> say that was a bad thing or talk about it like well, you were disparaging it? I have a what, theory. What kind of bull... Are... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of... Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bologna. But good. <laughs> what kind of bologna is that? Is I, that good? I have a bologna theory. Okay. I have a bologna theory. Speak up. My theory is that... Taylor Swift was born in Tennessee. She kind of started out as a country music uh, pop princess. And I think that the Jesse Waters of the world thought that she was their princess. And then, all of a sudden, she decides to endorse a Democrat in Tennessee. Yeah. She was in support of uh, March for Our Lives Against Gun Violence. She supported the LGBTQ in her uh, community in her music videos. And she said, I'm pro-choice. And then she said, and vote. They picked the they, they 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 picked the wrong princess. And you know, Wait, you know who their princess is? Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's their princess. But why I'm is sorry, it that Republicans, Pennsylvania, not Tennessee? Pennsylvania. Republicans <laughs> typically want small government because they don't think it does a good job getting in your business until it gets to a conspiracy theory, <laughs> and then they believe Taylor Swift can brainwash the entire nation. The execution and co- cooperation I'm tired on that of is dumb next people. level. I'm no. tired of dumb people. I'm just I'm tired of it. I can't. <laughs> But by the way, th- yeah. this this news broadcast happened. Well, I, to be more serious, there's hostages abroad. There's a looming government shutdown. Yeah. Chris Christie. There's so much stuff happening, and this is the critical hard news that dear Jesse Waters is bringing us. But I just want to know a very senior Trump advisor, who I will not repeat his name, also tweeted. What's happening with Taylor Swift is not organic. Dun, dun, dun. Like, yeah. what? No, her music is great. They're bops. We love it. It's because it was country, Tennessee, and now it's not. And a woman is kicking butt. Now they have Lauren Boebert. Good for them. Oh, I have a legal note. A Pentagon spokesperson pushed back against Jesse Waters' claim, saying in a statement, quote, as oh. for this conspiracy theory, we are going to shake it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that that's a problem, you know, that's exactly how they how they want to do this. They want to present to you the actual truth. Fox News will tell you some of the truths. This is how they also keep a lot of the conservatives in the hive mind. Because you'll hear now, like I've mentioned, a lot of people are like, they're like, oh, call me a conspiracy theorist. Oh, is it actual truth? Like everybody thinks they're on board. Everybody thinks they're awake now because the the, the conservative all right media has given little truths. But these people don't realize Trump and all this stuff keeps them in the exact vacuum they want to keep them inside of right so you have fox news bring attention to that then you have the perfect answer to it which is liberal media coming out and debunking which isn't really debunking it's mocking and ridiculing actual truth and then planting these seeds in everybody's minds is why they should dismiss any notion of mind control any notion of the government being involved with hollywood but the reality is that it's all true It's all true. And if you just step back and you peel the onion a little bit and you start thinking to yourself, hey, how did Elvis and the Beatles and all these people become really, really famous? Oh, because they were so great. They pushed them down your throat beyond comprehension. Why all of a sudden is Taylor Swift like this? Nobody before five, 10 years ago cared about Taylor Swift that much. Taylor Swift was just another one of these celebrities, right? Taylor Swift was going on those shows. Kanye West was like embarrassing her on stage about Beyonce, et cetera, et cetera. Taylor Swift now goes to the football game. They got to show every cut of her. This is all done by design. They got to tell you that it's bigger than life that Taylor Swift is dating a football player and at the football game. And people out there don't even seem suspicious about it. They're just like, oh, well, it's Taylor Swift. They don't even realize they've been mind controlled into thinking Taylor Swift's crap don't stink. That Taylor Swift's the greatest thing on earth. And whatever Taylor Swift says, we should all do. And they don't even ask any questions about it, right? And of course, there's so many things I've covered, which are now removed from here, but are on the website about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Right, Travis Kelsey at the same time he's being propped up and Brad Travis Kelsey is endorsing the magic potion. This is a fixed relationship. That's what all these things are. They're not really together. These people are all related to each other anyway for anyone out there that doesn't know. But Travis Kelsey, magic potion, they had to prop Travis Kelsey up so they could subconsciously continue to program people out there to get the magic potion and then they use the influence of Taylor Swift as well. So all of these things are done by design. We're in a giant mind control operation. That's what this is and they want you to think that the notion of that is crazy. Then when Larry Fink and these people come on TV and they talk about behavioral control, nobody thinks twice because they don't even know what it means. They're like, behavioral? I don't know. Who's this guy, right? Who's Larry Fink? We never hear about him on TV every day. We only hear about Taylor Swift. So we don't know who Larry Fink is. Larry Fink controls and runs everything. Everything. 
right? There's a handful of Vanguard. There's a handful of BlackRock of companies that run everything. I'm talking not just the television and the radio and social media, food manufacturing, uh, transportation, all of it, right? And they're using the celebrities and not the people like Larry Fink to push this because first of all, nobody would listen to Larry Fink. And secondly, Larry Fink doesn't feel like getting killed in the streets because people figure out what's going on. So they use their social influencers who they dress up and put them on stage and present them as nice people. And then you see articles about Taylor Swift. And you're like, Taylor Swift doesn't get political. Taylor Swift's just neutral, you know? She doesn't want to get involved in politics. She's just a great person. And then they just put all the ideologies that they want out there behind Taylor Swift. Oh, Taylor Swift wants gun reform. Oh, Taylor Swift wants you to accept the LGB. Oh, uh, Taylor Swift has music videos featuring trance. Oh, Taylor Swift's talking about protecting the climate one after the other and then you look at every celebrity and they're all involved google every one of them with all of these key ingredients in agenda 2030 and and the new world order agendas okay whether it's climate change etc katie perry lady barfbag miley virus all of them they're all talking about the same things they all support the same things because they're all agents and this is what they do to influence people that this is the way society needs to go and this all ties into world communism Okay, they're all communist agents. People out there sit there and they watch these, you know, movies that are made or they're like, oh, yeah, I've heard about communism. I watched the History Channel and we had communist infiltrations. We had the blacklist in Hollywood. And they don't realize that it is fully compromised now by communists. They call it wokeism. It is communism. It is global enslavement. And the celebrities are the ones who are influencing you into wanting it, into accepting it and into tolerate, tolerating it without people realizing what it really is. And that's why people like me and you are so censored and why they remove us from all platforms. Because it's easy to see and figure out when you're using critical thinking, when you're able to step out of everything that's going on in your day-to-day -day life and you start saying, why and what? And why am I even, why do I even like this specific thing? Why am I dressing this specific way? Why am I, uh, you know, why are my friends acting like this or doing this? Because they're all engineered. Right. And we've, we, when we're engineered and if we're victims of engineering, we're not actually living as actual human beings and focusing on the things that people are naturally supposed to do, which is why so many people are depressed. So many people are uncomfortable. So many people feel lost. It's because they're influencing your behavior and you're not actually living the way you're supposed to live. You're not learning trades. You're not taking care of yourself the way you should take care of yourself. You're focused on things you shouldn't be focused on. They do this by design to break human beings down. And it all starts and ends with social engineering. Share this video. Maybe it'll help wake people up. But understand why Fox News brings attention to it. Fox News isn't bringing attention to it to expose it. Fox News is bringing attention to it because everybody hates Fox News, even conservatives do. So that people out there think it's some wacky conspiracy theory because Jesse Waters, the perfect example of what you know people don't want to be, but they want you to think conservative Christians are, you know, whiny, uh, womanizer, all this stuff. You know, he plays their old little brat, spoiled rich kid. And he's telling you about this stuff. And then he doesn't actually break it down. He just goes, why do we keep hearing about Taylor Swift? You know, I mean, I guess her music's okay, but you know, they're getting people to vote with Taylor Swift. It's not about voting. Your vote doesn't count. It's about your behavior. That's what it's about. Controlling your behavior. This is how we've gotten to this point. And we could still break away from it if people wake up. I thank everybody for being here. I hope you're all doing well. God bless all of you as always and your families.